Okay, you might as well know that someone has died from the title of this video. Um, this, the person who has died um, is George Romero, as you know by the, the video title. Um, if you don't know who George Romero is, and if you ever watched the movie Night of the Living Dead or Dawn of the Dead, he's the creator of those movies. Um, I've been watching him since I was a little kid. Like a little, like a really little kid. And I, he just died yesterday. Um, he was battling lung, like heart cancer, I believe. Lung cancer. Yeah, I think it was lung cancer. And I didn't really know about he had cancer. He died at set the age of 77. He was there with his daughter and his wife. Watching one of his most favorite movies before he died. Well, I'm playing zombies just because, well... He is known... As the... Zombie horror film master. He is known for making the world's not well, yeah the world's best known zombie movies ever. Yeah, I've been watching these since I was like ever mostly since I was born. Like a lot of these movies that he made, I completely love. He also is known for making the crazies. So, if you people haven't watched that movie, he made... Well, if you have watched that movie, you need to know who it was made by. Or directed by. He made it. Um... This is one of my most favorite guys. He's made these so great movies. Dawn of the Dead is my most favorite, though. But because he's dead, I'm gonna rewatch that. I'm gonna rewatch... I'm pretty sure we have the crazies. And I'll rewatch... No, I'm not Dawn of the Dead. I mean, I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna rewatch Night of the Living Dead. Cause I'm pretty sure that was his first ever movie that he made back in the, the back in the 60s. And the uh, Dawn of the Dead now was made in the 70s. That was like 1978 when he made that. I'm also going to probably go in my sister's room because she's gone. I might as well just play Call of the Dead because he's in the map. This is what the YouTuber did. Um, that's how I found this out, that he was dead. The YouTuber um, is like, thanks George Romero. And about, like, at the beginning of it, he showed the, uh... Well, he showed this video about how he died. And so he was playing the map that he was in on the, the original Black Ops, not Black Ops 2, not Black Ops 2. He was playing Call of the Dead. That map was also known for having famous actors because, well... It's, he, was making, he was directing a movie called Call of the Dead. In Call of the Dead, um, it was these four movie actors that actually did the voice acting for their own selves in the game, not like someone else. Um, the, the guy was, um, there was only one girl there. It was like, I can't remember her name. Michelle, it was like Michelle Geller. Michelle Geller. I can't remember her name. Well. Oh, well, she's a badass, just saying. I've seen a couple movies that she's in. She always plays as the awesome person. Oh, shit. Well. Well, that map is where... Well, Robert Englund, he's known as playing Freddy Krueger because he is Freddy Krueger. Nightmare on Elm Street, one of my most favorite horror films as well. A horror, for, horror film series. You should really watch that. You should watch all the movies. But if you're a little kid and you don't like to see boobs, don't don't watch it. 
Because all the movies have boobs in them. Naked women. Just a little hint. I've watched all the movies more than like 10 times. For when I was little, until now, yeah. I've watched them like so much times. I believe like 15 or 18 times now. I might as well rewatch those too. Eh, I'll do that the next time when I have no internet. Rooker, or also known as Merle from The Walking Dead, before well, the guy that got his hand chopped off because he chopped his own hand off. And the other guy is uh, Danny Toad. Not to Danny Tojo. The fuck? Um, Danny Trejo. Ho. That's an awesome name. Well, he's uh, also in a lot of movies that I've definitely watched. Like, like the ones that I can remember is mostly uh, Sons of Anarchy. That's one of the only shows I can remember that I can actually name. So I can't name the other ones. Well, they're all movie actors. That's all I'm just gonna say. Well, they're all on the map, and the point of the map is where you have to help Rectofen and the other people get the golden rod. Watch if you see that little blue glowing thing, the golden thing right there, that's the golden rod. Since Call of the Dead is not in the remake of the eight maps remade. I might as well just play the map with the key thing hinting to it. And I could have played the Rise and Drach, but the Ice Dragon map. That's what, well, that's what the Rise and Drach stands for. No, learn your German, people. It really helps you in your life. Because German is real easy to learn. It's also, um, if you, well, you got to get the Golden Rod. He's really tough to need it for his grand scheme to become the leader of the zombies or control the zombies where Samantha well Samantha she goes into his body so she's in an old man's body <coughs> <Sorry. coughs> oh that was a bad burp have you ever burped and vomit came up that just what happened Ugh. I always just hate when I swallow it. Like, as soon as I vomit, I just swallow it and it's just. Well, uh, yeah. Well, the video. Uh, the map is like, well, if you watch the. Well, when you die, um, George Romero talks. He's like. He was doing research for a World War II movie. Then he came across some old Nazi documents. And he couldn't believe what he was seeing. And yeah, it's mostly the thing. <sighs> I'm tired. I have to stay for 24 hours. Not fun. Or more than 24 hours. Well, George Romero made all these great movies. And, well, George Romero was making the World War II movie, doing the research for it. So he did the, uh, the Call of Duty Zombies. Or, well, because the zombie, well, he couldn't believe what he was seeing because the Germans, like, resurrecting the dead. And, yeah, it was like, and so he, he wanted to make a movie about that. Well, he's made all of these movies that have sold great. At least... Like, I don't know. At least he has a family that actually cared for him. His wife was there, his kid, his, his daughter was there. For when he was dead. Most families just usually go to divorce and they'll say, fuck you. But, he, 
they actually love each other. Not like most people these days. Actually, that's gonna be my next Let's Talk video. Ten. I made a video for Let's Talk, but I was just talking about random shit, so that ain't gonna be part ten. It's just gonna be never uploaded. I'd just like to say, rest in peace, George Romero. You have... Your name will always be somewhere in my head. I will always remember you. Known as my one of my most favorite movie makers in life. I like zombies. Uh, like, what makes you think my account has angry zombie boy? I just like zombies just because... I don't know why I like zombies. It's just something about coming back to life as something dead. No longer alive. It's just... Something about... I, I do hate a lot of people. But... Most of the times I just wish people could always die. And that the people I actually do like... Could just stay alive. So they always imagine... I don't know, something about being dead. Being dead is better than being alive. It's like being in war. If you're playing the World War, it's better being dead than alive. Because you don't want to know what's going to happen to you. You could get shot in the arm, you could lose an arm, lose a leg, you can break whatever part of the body. Um, you might as well just fucking break the leg before you get into the battlefield. Oh damn, wave gun. Huh, I guess this game likes me somewhat. Well, rest in peace, George Romero. I will always know you. No joke. I've been watching his movies since I was a kid. Do you think I'm gonna get someone like that? Hell no. Fucking die, space man. Well, I was just playing zombies because, well, he's known for making good zombie game, well, not games, movies. So let's just play something that, well, they have put him, well, these people who made this zombie map, and, well, he didn't really. He got fired halfway through, uh, through Black Ops 2. I don't know. Oh, rest in peace. I was just... He was actually remaking a movie. Of a zombie. He was remaking a zombie movie. And I'm surprised he died at 77. But most guys... Most guys, when they grow old, they usually live to 70. And... Girls, well, American guy, American guys live usually until they're in their 70s, and American girls usually live until their 80s. Japanese people live longer, but Japanese people are also like Japanese guys are also known for having the most smallest penis. Is not to be racist and all, but it's actually a proven fact that they do. I I, I don't I feel really bad for those guys. And Japanese girls have, let's just say, tighter vaginas. Let's not use the word pussy here. I ain't calling anyone a pussy cat. Shit. Well, rest in peace, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I want a, uh, Rest in peace in the comments. Rest in peace, George Romero. It's just show respect for a great man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.